I keep getting asked for our complete air fryer cookbook, is it any good if you're on metric? Well, if you look at the front of the cookbook, it even says includes metric and imperial measurements. So there's your quick answer already. But I'm sure you want to have a, a better dive into the cookbook to see just how true that is. So first of all, we've got 140 easy to follow air fry recipes in here and what we actually did when we were creating the cookbook is we did it in a way so that we can do metric and imperial so we went with level cups converted into grams we've got the liters um we've got the everything really and it was so hard work to actually get it to perfect metric and imperial but we did it and we've also converted any words so that if they're called one thing in one country to another, you know what I'm talking about. But we did a step better than that. We always seem to cook uh, with ingredients that are available everywhere. And some people have said to me, well, what about ranch dressing? You know, we can't get ranch dressing in the UK or we don't know what ranch dressing is. It's popular in the US. Well, I can say there is no ranch dressing in this cookbook. And we've gone with ingredients that everybody has throughout the world. So it's not just ingredients in the US or ingredients in the UK. It's for everyone. And then, of course, if you live in Canada, it's brilliant because if you're educated on metric, we've got you covered. If you're on imperial, we've got you covered as well. And the same goes for other metric countries like Australia and Europe. We've just got it all. So what I wanted to do is I want to take you to the baking category because that's the best example of how we've actually converted things. So here we are on page 210 in the cookbook. This recipe here is for coffee shop chocolate chip muffins. So these remind me of uh, the muffins that you have at Starbucks, the ones that you have at a typical cafe. They're just so lovely. And the way we've done these so that it's metric and imperial and easy to understand is like for example we have uh what we would call in the uk single cream and in america they would call it half and half so we've got single cream or half and half and then for the measurements we've got 80 ml or two and a half fluid ounce or one third of a cup so that if you do ounces, if you do cups, or if you do milliliters. And then where possible, we've used tablespoons just because they're so easy to convert and it saves getting out lots of measuring devices. And then, for example, with the cocoa powder, it's 28 grams, which is one ounce or a third of a cup of cocoa powder. And then with the granulated sugar, We've gone with 130 grams and that's four and a half ounce or two thirds of a cup. Again, really easy to convert. And then here in the UK, we use the word self-raising, but in the US it's self-rising. So we've mentioned both of those here and it's either 125 grams, four and a half ounce or one cup. And then for the chocolate chips, 150 grams which if you're in the UK, that's like just grabbing one and a half of the little bags that you pick up from the supermarket. Five and a half out or five and a half ounce. So it's just a brilliant way to go, to go from one to the other. And we've done the same in a lot of our baking recipes in this chapter and realized that that would mean that the recipes would look really, really awful and say things like uh, one cup plus one tablespoon, which I, it just seems so long-winded so what we did is instead we remeasured and went with perfect cup sizes and then converted them into grams because we found it was better that way and that means that the recipes are really easy to follow and then let me have a flick through here and show you some more examples and then rocky road chocolate cake the thing here about it is we've used quite a few bits that are english chocolate but the idea here is that you can mix and match it with what you've got available. So, for example, whilst um, we would just put mini marshmallows on it, you can do the same. Lived in Portugal, couldn't get them. So whenever I saw a recipe for that, I just chopped some up. 
and um then for the things on top you know you can use fudge pieces white chocolate buttons um blondie chocolate chips and the thing here is when we say chocolate sweets or candy this is brilliant for your leftovers from going trick-or-treating with the kids after halloween because you can easily mix and match it with whatever chocolate you want if you head over to recipethis.com and search for air fried birthday cake you can see us recreating this because this was actually styled by our food stylist at the photo shoot and you'll see uh, Dominic's version of it as well as two of the recipe creators for the cookbook who also helped in this so you can actually see how different you can make this using the same ingredients and styling it how you want to style it and then if you are on metric as you can see it's so simple they're all ingredients that anyone can get and we've done some brilliant alternative recipes as well so that we fit in with both the us the uk canada australia and such like so for example we've got cheesy scones but as my cousin always pointed out cheesy scones are very similar to american biscuits so there's instructions there to turn them into american biscuits and we've got so many other ways that you can convert your recipe no matter where you live like for example we've got a double page here for celebrating thanksgiving in the air fryer yet flick over the page and we've got the english alternative for christmas for some homemade yorkshire puddings and stuffing balls so it's a lovely mix and match depending on where you live in the world there is literally something for everyone you know we've got so much depending on where you are it really doesn't matter we wanted to create a cookbook that was perfect no matter where you lived in the world and it wasn't just oh this is just for the uk this is just for the us it was one for everybody and that is exactly what we've made here for you with a bit of everything and they are all based on everyday recipes not recipes that you'll never make or you'll struggle to find two recipes in the cookbook that are for you there is literally a bit of everything and as you can see from me flicking through the cookbook, we also have plenty of step-by-step -step photos so that it's more like a course that meets a cookbook so that you can learn for yourself exactly how to use the air fryer. So don't forget to head over to recipethis.com or across to Amazon and pre-order yourself a copy today.